Hey guys, Get Level here, and today I have a free Fall Guys inspired Twitch overlay pack for you. So I'm actually recording this intro in the not the correct order. I'm recording it after installing everything, but as you can see, this is the full overlay pack. This is me currently because it's way too hot and I don't want to be in, on camera. Uh, right here, you have your chat box, you have your labels bar. This is the intermission screen, but also a lot of space to put any additional things that you would want, like donation goal and stuff like that. Oh, I need to make an update. So this is what the game scene would look like with your camera overlay, your labels bar and the game in the background. Then we have a be right back screen and a stream ending scene. All right, I'm going to throw it to past guy level and he's going to show you everything that is included in the overlay pack and then also show you how you can easily install it. OK, so I'm going to be going over everything that is included in the overlay pack and then I'll show you how to add them. I've made a ton of videos on how to add stuff to Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio, so I'm going to go as fast as possible for my subscribers sake. But if you're new here, I definitely recommend you watching other videos on my channel because I explain those things step by step in multiple videos. Anyways, so in the Fall Guys inspired overlay pack, you will find an avatar this one is transparent background so that means that if you put your picture in photoshop for example and then you drag and drop this it's going to add the border this is a blue background we have a green background we have a purple background you can use this for whatever you want yellow background this is the banner the twitch banner here you're gonna have a background for the be right back screen and then this is the be right back screen uh, here you have your camera overlay this is the intermission screen same thing this is transparent so you have only have to put your camera behind it here we have the labels bar we have cheer subscriber and donator but if you don't have if you're not twitch affiliate for example you can use the blank one and add whatever icons you want this is the offline image this is the starting soon background this is the starting soon screen this is the stream ending background this is the stream ending scene okay now let's move on to the panels we have 21 panels including a blank one um, normal stuff this is the blank one that you can customize if you want to and then we have all of the rest now on this overlay pack the thing that is special is that i did something that i don't usually do on my other overlays i included three psd files that means that with this one you can customize your own panels just double click open it should i open it let me open it and then from there after installing the font because you read the the product description before downloading it you can type whatever you want that works OK, and then we have screen text. This is the 1080p version of the text of the main text. And then we have Fall Guys, Fall Guys overlay, which is the one PSD files where I made all of the overlays. So you have access to everything. So now I'm going to show you how to add them to Streamlabs OBS, for example. OK, so we know we need five scenes, right? Starting soon. Be right back. Intermission game and stream ending. So here I have five empty scenes and I'm going to show you how easy you can just add stuff. We're going to do the drop and drop drop and drag we're gonna do the drag and drop method <laughs> and if that doesn't work for you only go to your to the top of your source list click plus and then add an image because those are images all right okay first scene is gonna be starting soon so we're just gonna find it boom second scene is going to be our intermission 13 is going to be webcam overlay we're gonna add a labels bar in there fourth scene is going to be be right back and then stream ending Boom. OK, so we're here. Let's add the chat box because that is what that uh, purple part is. The top here on the starting soon screen, you can add whatever you want. If you have a logo, if you already want to show the game lobby or, or even like your webcam, I don't know, but whatever you want in there, social media pop up, etc. Uh, let's find chat box, call it chat box, click done and then type some examples to see what it looks like for now. OK, and then place it, resize it as you wish. Let's say up there like that. And then we're going to double click on it because it's not um, it's not fully the size that we want. And then in height, we're going to put 700. See how that fits. It looks like it fits. Now, something to know about the chat box is you have to go to source here and then tick off shuts, shut down source when not visible. Click done. And now when you type, whatever you type is actually going to stay on screen, even if you switch scenes and stuff like that. OK, if you're not happy with the size of the text, you can always change that. OK, boom. So now we have our chat, chat box. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the chat box, click Control V, uh, Control C, sorry, and then click Control V here and then do it in every scene that requires the chat box. Boom. Chat box is everywhere. OK, we're good so far. Now, let's say the intermission screen, we want to add our webcam. So you would want to go to the plus here and then video capture device and then find your webcam. I don't feel like being on webcam right now, so I'm going to put a placeholder. I think this one will do and drag it behind the intermission overlay and move it a little bit. You can crop and scale. Basically, if it doesn't fit, 
um, you can hold alt on your keyboard to crop stuff okay and you can decrop and in that case it actually fits so just know that that's what you're supposed to do with your webcam in the game scene we have the labels bar let's put that somewhere around here and this is the camera overlay the so same thing if you're gonna go find your video capture device it's going to tell you hey you already have a webcam do you want to use that do use that here i'm gonna add an image because that's what i have and i'm actually gonna add the previous source that i had of course i'm gonna scale it down i'm gonna put it behind the overlay and here i'm gonna hold alt to crop the sides to make it fit so far so good so what what can we do next add the labels bar this is what is going to appear in here and i'm going to do something now where i'm going to find stream labels stream label here boom double click add source and then we're going to go first one is cheer so recent cheer you just type to find it uh, faster boom recent cheer i have it here bars in this case if you want to give the text a color can we do that yeah let's do that boom okay so far so good and then we're gonna add a filter to that text so that it, it it does the scrolling thingy that everyone does okay so filters right click on it click filters click that plus to add a new filter go to scroll and then give it horizontal speed not too fast you don't want it to be distracting and then put this on the side to see the size of this you want to actually limit it so that if someone has a huge name it doesn't change anything so limit width and then try let's go with 300 too much 210 just right boom and then loop is checked click done and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click this i'm going to click copy i'm going to paste a duplicate and not a reference i'm going to look at the the placement here so 978 Gonna use my arrow keys to place it perfectly. And I'm gonna do that one more time. Paste again. And 978. And now I'm just gonna double click, change the label. So the second one was subscriber. So I'm gonna type recent sub, most recent subscriber. Boom, it's not gonna fit, but that's fine. And then double click the last one and recent donation. Wait, why is this one scrolling? I messed up. Instead of pasting, see, this is what happened when you paste a reference instead of a duplicate. So I'm gonna delete that last one. I'm going to right click and I'm going to play paste a duplicate. That first one was most recent cheer. There you go. Now on the first one that has the filter, I'm going to right click it. Click copy filters. Click paste filters. And then click paste filter on the last one. And now my labels bar is done. I'm just going to group them up. So I'm going to hold shift click group. Call it labels. Boom, now I have a group with my labels bar. I can right click it, copy and control V. No, that doesn't work. That's a duplicate. Okay, that was weird. Uh, right click and paste, <laughs> paste reference. Boom. And this goes pretty much ev on every scene. So paste reference, paste reference. So of course, as I said about that top rectangle, um, what happens here is you're supposed to put the game lobby or your logo or whatever you want, really. It's a dedicated space that you can use uh, however you want. If you want to add some text here on the webcam overlay, you can also just write your name or if you have a specific social media that you want to show, just uh, put a social media icon in there and then put your put your tag, for example. And if you have a social media pop up that rotates and stuff like that, it's the perfect place to put it now if you want to make it a little bit more alive since it's not an animated pack what you can do is uh add a scene transition for example instead of cut we're gonna go well i should probably explain this a little bit more so on top of your scenes list you go to that cogwheel uh you go to the little pencil for editing the global transition and then you find something that you like uh, i like the slide personally and i like my slide to take a full second so a thousand millisecond click done and now when you're switching scenes there you go. It's a little bit more animated. Obviously here you would want to add your game capture source. If you have the game running in the background, where is it? Game capture, add source, add source, boom, and drag it behind. The list of, of sources is proportional to the list of visibility. So if your game capture is on top of everything, well, physically, it will be on top of everything and covering everything. So again, all you have to do is come here, gumroad.com slash get level. This is what the thumbnail looks like. Just click on it and then read the description as with anything you're downloading from the Internet. 
and then I show you everything. Remember, there's three PSD files. So if you want to customize anything, just look at the PSD files. And if you don't have Photoshop, um, I don't I don't know what I can do for you. I'm <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't see how that's my problem. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you would like to see other overlay packs related to other games, let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Go out there. Make me proud. Go play Fall Guys. Get level out.